Okay, we'll start today's workout doing a quick little yoga session and just get our mobility up. Go ahead and take a seat at the top of your mat. So for you, that'll be up here. And go ahead and cross your legs. Let's put our hands facing open on our knees. Take a few deep breaths. Prepare yourself. Keep breathing. In this session, we're going to be focusing mostly on arms. There will be some legs in there to get some cardio and a few leg floor workouts. And then we're going to put some core in there just to boost your confidence and to get the whole body working. The point of the yoga at the beginning is to just get some mobility into our legs and our shoulders and our arms and our core and just get everything heating up and moving. All right, go ahead and find your way to a tabletop position. You want your wrists under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Take some cat cows. Breathe in, look up at the ceiling, out towards your belly button, curve in your back. Nice. In, looking up. Now go ahead and take these any way your body might be asking for. Do some little circles, move around, do whatever you want. No one's watching you. We're just waking up the spine here, getting ready to go into some core and arm workouts later on in the practice. Go ahead and lift your right arm out straight in front of you your left leg out behind you. Find that strength. Feel like someone's pulling you from either side of your body. Now crunch in, elbow and knee meet. Breathe in, back out. Breathe out, crunch in. We're gonna take two more of these. Just waking up the core, waking up those glutes, getting ready to move. All right, gently place your hand and your knee down. Do it on the other side. Gently place your knees, your hands down, take a cat cow. Now lift up into your first downward facing dog. It's okay if you have to move your hands out a little bit. Pedal your legs. Just wake up those calves and those hamstrings. Make sure you're looking towards your belly button so that your tailbone can get right up into the air. All right, shift your weight forward so that you're in a plank position. If you have to move your hands and your feet at all, that just means your downward dog is a little short. Breathe out and lift back up. We're gonna take four more of those. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out, use the lower abs to come back up. Breathe in, and out, quick movement. Stay here for a second. We're gonna take one more, and it's gonna be a rolling plank. So roll every vertebrae forward and 
into your plank. Beautiful, come back up. I ladder and do one more of those. Roll every vertebrae forward, waking up your shoulders. You should be feeling it in your shoulders. Now lower down onto your forearms. Keep your booty up in the air. Make sure you're strong in this position. Hands should be flat down on your mat. Inch your feet in as far as you can go. This is an inversion. Your head and your arms should be feeling all your weight. This is called dolphin pose. All right, walk back out. Lift back up into that high plank. I know it hurts. Now go back into that downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right, lift that left leg up. Bring it in, knee to nose. Right back up behind you. We've done this before. Now breathe out and step it in between your front, your first two hands. I didn't make it all the way. <laughs> right now sink into that high lunge. Find your balance here. Find your strength here. Don't forget to breathe. You don't want to be dumping into your lower back like this. Make sure you're keeping your ribs tucked in, your tailbone tucked in. You want to be straight and strong. <sighs> Breathe out, shift into your warrior three. Looking over your left middle finger. Beautiful. Reach forward, reverse your warrior. Ooh, find that nice length. Breathe out, back into warrior three. Now straighten your front leg. Shift your right hips back. Put your left hand down your knee. Right arm up, triangle pose. Don't sacrifice the length you're finding in the right side of your body to get lower. You shouldn't have your hand on the floor unless you're able to be completely facing forward, finding length in that right side of your body. Breathe in, back to warrior three. Reach forward, reverse your warrior. Now cartwheel your hands down either side of that left foot. Peel your left arm up, look up to the sky. Nice. All right, now we're gonna take it to a little bit of a challenging place, Michaela. So, Find your balance, find your strength. I know you can do this. You've got it, you've got that side planks. So find the strength in your right hand. Make sure it's directly under your shoulder. Now step back into that high side plank. Hold it there for a second. It's okay if you need to pause the video and try again. Now go back down into your high plank. Find that chaturanga, knees down. Lower, now upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Now put your knees down. Let's find a child pose for a second because all that was pretty intense. Use this time as preparation for getting into your next workout, not as rest or recovery. We're going to do the other side, and if you didn't nail that side plank, I believe in you. You can do it. Your arm is absolutely strong enough. All right, lift up in your table dog and right into that downward facing dog. All right, lift up your right leg behind you, knee to nose, back up. Now as you breathe out, gently place that right leg in between those front two hands. Lift up into your high lunge. Beautiful. Again, make sure you're not dumping to your lower back. Keep everything straight and strong. Press into that back heel, your left heel. Make sure you're sinking as low as you can. 
breathe out, shift into your warrior three. Look out over your right middle finger. Take a breath here. Breathe in and reverse your warrior. Breathe out, come back into warrior three, looking over that middle finger. All right, now straighten that front leg. Place your right leg down. Shift your left hips back and reach over. You're really looking to find the stretch in this part of your body, not in this leg. So make sure you're getting good length. And if you need to lift up, shift your hips back and move over again just to make sure you're straight and your hips are straight, go ahead and do that. <coughs> All right, we're gonna breathe out. And back into warrior three. Quick reverse your warrior. Now cartwheel your hands down. We're gonna take that low lunge twist on the other side. All right, prepare yourself. You know where we're going with this. We're gonna take that side plank, which we know and love. You're gonna keep your strength in that left hand. If you need to leave your left hand like that, go ahead, but I don't think you do. Make sure your left foot is in line and go ahead and step back into that side plank. It's hard to balance, but you can do it. Go ahead and pause the video and redo it if you couldn't. All right, now go over to your high plank, knees down, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. All right, we're just gonna take two sun salutations here, build up the heat a little bit more, and then we're gonna end our yoga practice, okay? Bend your knees, take two steps to the front of the mat. Lift your back, straight back, now back down. Hands up, look towards the sky. Hands find a prayer at heart center. Fold over your legs. Lift up, flat back, heart lift. Now step down, find your strength in the plank. If you can do the chaturanga here, go ahead and do it. If you can't, put your knees down, lower into chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Breathe out, use those low abs, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, we're gonna take two steps to the front of the mat. Just flat back, heart lift, forward fold. Up to the sky, forward fold. Flat back, heart lift. Step back in your plank and right down in Chaturanga. I'm not gonna take my knees down for this one. You need to go ahead, but I wanna challenge you to stay in the plank position and work it, because this is our last one. Lower down Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Pedal those legs out, get the last stretch that you can. Now come down into Varasana Hero's Pose. Hands on your knees. Close your eyes. Let's take a few breaths. I want you to put your right hand on your heart, your left hand on your belly. Feel that breath. Feel your strength, feel your muscles shaking. You are strong. You're strong enough to do the rest of this practice. Work out. Take as much time as you need here in preparation. And then we're gonna move on to our warm up. Okay.